Hello, so this is going to be a video showing some homemade x-ray pictures I took with my friend Bart. Now, all of these are of my body or sort of random objects. Now, obviously I'll point out right from the beginning and I'll show you a picture at the end and I'll leave it to the end because it's a bit gory but it's a very old picture. Um, of X-rays are inherently dangerous because they are ionizing radiation discovered in 1895 by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, which is where the Röntgen or Röntgen measurement comes from, uh, the man who discovered X-rays. Now, basically how X-rays work, and I'll explain this in the simplest way possible, is X-rays are basically very short wave, um, which means high energy, light energy photons. So the reason that you can see bones with X-rays is that they cast a shadow, and because your bones are denser than your flesh, or your like, muscle, your meat, um, the bones are what casts the shadow. The higher energy or shorter wavelength of an X-ray or a gamma ray, the more it will um, basically penetrate through stuff. So, higher energy X-rays are better for seeing deeper into the body, but they're also more dangerous in the same doses. Or, you know, exposure for the same amount of time. So the first pictures you'll see are of my hand, and you'll notice in some of these that you can actually see um, the fat of the hand or the muscles that kind of look very pale, but the bones are very distinct. Here you can see my left wrist with my ulna and my radius. Now in one of these pictures of this, what I'll show you is that you can actually see a breakage in my ulna and radius, and this is when I was young, I tripped over and broke my um, arm. And interestingly, you can see where the bone has healed, re-knitted itself together, but there's still fragments of the old bone, sort of spurt or sprut, whatever you want to call it, left. So I'll put those pictures up now, and if you look closely, you should be able to see where the bone has not sort of completely uniformly reformed, as you would expect, you know, if it was a brand new bone, which is quite interesting to see through an x-ray. And of course, you don't just have to x-ray the human body. Here we can see a VHS tape, there's two pictures of this, one of the spool and one of the sort of reel of the magnetic film. Now with a VHS tape, if you have it in a cardboard or plastic box, the x-rays easily penetrate the box and the plastic housing of the VHS tape, and you can see the reels and the spool because they're a thicker material. So there you go, there's the magnetic reel with the tape going across it. I'm also going to show you a circuit board, although that's quite a lot harder to make out on the x-ray. Now if you're interested in how these are made, Basically, you're blasting the object with x-rays, which is like blasting it with a light if you want to visualize it that way. And you're using a special phosphor screen that only picks up shortwave uh, radiation that makes it glow. So what ends up happening, you do it in a dark room, the x-rays hit the subject, and the x-rays then cast a shadow onto the phosphor screen. Hence why bones are visible, but for example, regular flesh isn't as visible or is less visible. And as warned earlier, here is a picture of an x-ray burn from a very old medical textbook, I believe. So what's happened here is too long exposure to x-rays causes necrosis and burns to basically the skin. So just imagine it like ultraviolet radiation, but even more ionizing. The scary thing with um, ionizing radiation, such as x-rays and gamma rays, is that you can't immediately feel or tell that they're causing harm to the body. The danger comes about in long term, sort of short term and long term afterwards, when sort of damage to the cells is immediately sort of obvious.